In this video, we'll create a project with a button to add a record to a database. So I'll call that project add record button. Start the toolbars in the common controls. I'll add one button. One, two, three, four labels and one, two text boxes. F4 to open properties window. For the button, I will change the text to add and the name to, to be cmd for command button add this label I will call it lbl id um, I will show nothing for this text box I will call it txt title and for the last one I will call it txt price this label should show the text ID the next one will show title and the last one will show price that's it for our GUI now let's go for the code double click on the four in the global area I will define the common variables so I need a connection also I need, need uh, a connection string also we will need SQL statement and the command lastly we can also use an integer to return the number of affected rows I'll call that answer that's it now in the form load uh, we're going to connect to the database so Sorry, I'm still okay. Now let's get our connecting string. Let's see. Here's our database. So I'll create a new text file. Call it C dot udl double click that choose the provider for microsoft office 12 access then I will choose database test that yes succeeded ok right click open with notepad and here is our text control C for copy going back here control V to paste good now 
one is just the property or the connection. Now we are ready to open that. Let's do the first test F5 for run. Yes, no errors. Let's continue. Actually, that's it for the form load. Now we need another event. Double click on the button to get the button click event. And here, let's do it simple without validation. So let's build our SQL statement. Now, remember in table box, we have three fields ID, which is an auto number, title, which is a string, price, which is a double. So, since ID is an auto number, I'm going to skip that in my SQL statement. Um, only the title and the price. Now the values. For title, we have text title the text, and yes, we need to have single quotations for each one of them. Single quote, and another single quote, and now we need to have a comma between the two values. Now the price is a number, so no need for quotations. We just have that text price text, and now we need to close the parentheses. That's it. Good. Now let's have a new command. As you know, a command needs two things to run and open a connection that we already have, and a command text, and also we already built that. Now let's run that command and store the number of repeated records in our answer variable. That will be execute many query. And that's it. Let's try that. F5 to run. And C++ for 120. And no errors. So seems to work. Let's check that. It's our database. And yes, we have one the auto number. C++ only 20. Let's have another run. It's going to see database book price one two three point nine. Add yes, another book Java for triple two. Add yes. That's it.
Thank you for watching. So just let's first check again the database. Uh, need to refresh. Yes, the three records are already here.